Hello everyone, I'm Nate Asher and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. In the last episode, we got trapped in a tornado with Zelda and woke up in our room with the headmaster who gave us our knight's clothes. And now we're in our iconic green tunic. James! That green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look like a knight now. The headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I can never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. I've had a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. You got the adventure pouch. Sweet. You ever wonder how Link fits all those weapons and, and items on, on him at all times? Magical pouch. <laughs> it's an adventure pouch. It's for adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you'll need on your big journey. You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you can put in this pouch. You should go look. You should go buy some potions and a shield. They'd fit in the pouch and they might come in handy on an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> handy dandy thing about these pouches. Uh, you can put a shield in them. James, I just know you'll find Zelda for us. For sure. Alright. What's this guy? Pompously throwing his hair back. Hey, I just saw the news. Out of all of us, how come only you got promoted to senior class? Talk about stupid calls. On top of all that, Groose won't come out of his room, and Zelda's missing. It's all your fault. Way to go there, buddy. Some senior class guy you are. You know what? No one asked you. Forty. Oh hey, you have a thought bubble. I had the news, James. Zelda's fallen down through the clouds, and you're going to look for her. Is that right? The headmaster told me there's land beneath the clouds. Do you know anything about that? That's the famous sword. Ah, that won't do you much good if you don't have a shield to protect yourself with. Here, take this with you. You got a wooden shield. Breaks easily and can burn. So be careful how you use it. Oh. Wooden shield is light and maneuverable, but it's the weakest of all the shields. Also, keep in mind that it's particularly vulnerable to fire. If it breaks, you can buy a new one at the bazaar. Do a quick shield. Do all that. If you're not sure how to use a shield, Knight Commander Aegis at the sparring hall will happily teach you. Ouch. Oh. Yeah, you gotta like, you can like, equip and unequip your shield at will. The reason you would want to do that, I know it seems like, you know, if you have a shield, you may as well equip it. But you can actually carry multiple shields in this game. Um, which helps a lot with the durability factor. Because uh, this is the game that kind of like where they were experimenting with the whole weapons breaking and having to repair them. And James, the headmaster told me about Zelda. Poor girl, I'm worried about her. Now, I don't know the details of what's going on here. That sword you're carrying is from Skyloft. An ancient artifact that can only be carried by the Chosen One. And since you happen to be the one carrying it, I guess I can figure out a lot of the rest of this crazy story. Mm. You know, James, I just wish there was more I could do for you. But I can offer this as a parting gift. You're ready to learn some new moves. It's time to learn the secrets of defense. First, we should start with the basics. When you're worried about defense, take your shield out. Simple stuff, I know, but you need to review the basics. Lower your shield, swing your sword, or press B to put your sword and shield away entirely. Just be careful when trying to attack while on the defensive. 
Every time you swing your sword, you move your shield out of the way, blowing your guard. Why don't you try that first? Okay. Use a practice defense. Hit the log with your sword and then execute a shield bash when it swings back at you. Okay. Yeah, I think I got it. Okay, I don't want to do the lip thing. Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. The column of light has appeared to the south of our locations, and signs indicate that it has created an opening in the cloud barrier to the land below. I must also caution you that descending to the surface armed only with a sword would result in a decreased probability of survival. If you have not already done so, I advise you to purchase a shield and potions at the bazaar in preparation for your journey. Earlier this was blocked off, but now we can go in here. Pretty neat. So you're on your way to becoming a knight now, right? Congratulations! But I'm sure there's still plenty you don't know. Don't forget to press right if you need a pointer or two. Next to dash of pepper, delicious. Another culinary delight, ready to be savored and enjoyed. Uh, the how wholesome and PG 13. What the heck is that? The posts to look like that? Oh, it's like the. You can see up through the tent. That's cool. I don't think I ever took the time to notice that. What do you do? Oh, yeah. Hey, welcome to the scrap shop. I can use the stuff you find to upgrade your gear and make it even stronger. And if your shield takes a beating, no worries. I can fix that too. So, what'll it be? Um, nothing right now, thanks. Hey, hey. Uh, what the? Uh, why'd you even come and talk to me? There. There. Ah. Oh. Hello and welcome to the item check. Want to put stuff from your pouch into storage? Okay. Want to take something out of storage? That's fine. So is there anything in your pouch or storage you want to move? No. See like, since you can only... And this is another part of the... You know, they experiment a lot in this game. And with the whole, uh, you can break stuff, you can carry stuff. Um, you actually have to watch like what you're carrying because you don't have that much room and so the item check girl you can leave your stuff with her that you don't want to take with you on a like certain like if you're going to the forest temple or something you know you're not gonna need I don't know. You know what I mean, though. It'll come in handy later. But we do need to stop by and talk to the woman with the thought bubble. 
Hey, you there! Yes, you, you, the adorable boy with the golden hair. Welcome to the potion shop. You can drink our potions when you're injured to fill up your heart. Hey, you're one of those knights, aren't you? Or one in training, at least, hmm? Let me tell you, one look at you, I can tell you'll need my potions by the cauldron fold, so don't try to slink away without stocking up. Oh dear. I forgot to ask if you have an empty bottle on you. Just so you know, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle to pour it into. Mm. For some reason, I like you though, so I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here in the stall. Oh, it's nothing, it's my little gift. You won't hear me say this often, but you can put other things beside potions in an empty bottle, so it's a useful thing to carry around. Alright. Mm. Bottles fit in your- okay. I'm uh, mm. just gonna get your standard red potion. Yep. 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 Thank you, sweetie. If you want a potion powered up, go see my husband at the end of the counter. He can mix something up for you. So yeah, you can actually, um, like, upgrade your potions, uh, rather than just, like, it being, well, this, uh, uh restores eight hearts, and this restores health and magic. This is magic, health, and both. You might not want to splurge on this one because it is more expensive. And if you don't necessarily need to restore magic, you just want more than eight hearts restored, then you can upgrade the the health potion. And I believe that if you upgrade it, it also um, gives it like like a, it makes it restore your your shield durability if your shields taking a beating um yeah anyway enough about that time to what is this my eyes oh young man Calamitous visions appear before me. You may choose not to believe me, but my eyes foresee a hazardous theory on the road ahead for you. But I can foresee what will befall you, for I am a fortune teller. Trust my pure eyes. Listen to my pure I will do you no harm. Gaze deeply into my eyes and come close. Yeah, screw you, buddy. <laughs> God. <clears throat> but yeah, all this, like, we'll, we'll be here a lot. There's a lot of uh, coming back here. Um. In between different areas and whatnot, so there will be time to delve into details about all those shops and all that good stuff. Here we go up here. Hey there, James. You know what's funny? Folks here call this the Light Tower. Supposedly here to help people find Skyloft and prevent them from crashing into us. I've never seen any light coming out of it. I wonder who built it, and why. You should climb all the way to the top anyway. There's one amazing view they got us from up there. Me? No, thank you. I'm good right down here. Me and Heights, we don't get along. Let sound the goddess song beneath the light's radiance. 
under her chosen hero shall fall a piercing ray of guidance. Whatever that means. Yeah. Let's go. Well, you guys see my uh, my Zelda blanket that I put over my window with the light shining through it. it looks freaking cool today. I record at night a lot, so you don't get to see them. I think it's pretty nice. nice. Master, please make sure to use your cell clock when descending from high ele elevations. Failing to do so has a high probability of resulting in injury. I took the, liber I took the liberty of deploying the cell clock for you this time, but in the future you can manually engage it by pressing Z before landing. Oh yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't pull my cell cloth out. Thanks, hot key. This is a fabled surface that has long been part of Skyloft legend. By my calculations, you're currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. Please proceed with caution, Master. Huh. Can't activate it for some reason. Wait, maybe a Skyward Strike. Do the trick. Nope. Alright, so here's... Uh, one of the situations I was talking about where it would get tricky with the Wii remote since it wasn't very accurate and these guys you have to be very... here let me shield that here. You do that, I guess you don't, but like see how this one opens up vertically? You have to cut it like... The, uh, I don't know why I'm over <laughs> all of this, but... Is that I have true on that door? Ika emblem. Know that? Brimstone. You must be getting close. <laughs> He's like, no, nah, I, I know what I smell. There wasn't no brimstone. Didn't come off no stone either. <laughs> Yeah, that, um, the big monster looking thing is called the Imprisoned. It's like, I don't know, like the essence of the evil. I, it'll explain later, but I, it, it's such, it's such a stupid 
annoying boss that we're going to have to face several times. Anyway. Got us another bug. That's one that I believe is in Breath of the Wild as well. But they called it an electric rhino beetle, I think. Ooh, I remembered to do it. Friggin' gnats. Child of Destiny. Send him from the sky. It's the song of the sky. Take aim. The universe. Unleash its power. Okay. I feel like I'm setting Voldemort free. But. Master James, I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. I've also detected an aura that correlates closely to your sailcloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process known as dowsing. Would you like me to explain this process to you? Understood, Master. No. Instead, I will explain it to you guys. Basically, the same button that you use to look in first person is how you're going to douse. When you... You hold the up button instead of just pressing it. You have the option to select you can... This is your first person view. And now we have uh, dowsing slots, so we're going to douse for Zelda. Basically, it's like um, tuning forks, you know, how you take the fork and whenever they would bend, it means that there's uh, a cavity underground. It's basically what we're doing, it's, it's like... If you've played Twilight Princess, it's kind of like, you know, your wolf sense of smell. Like, so we're figuring out where Zelda is based on where the signal takes us. So it's pointing this way. It's also vibrating the controller. So it wants us to go up.
Field Temple. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, so now we have a bird statue that uh, we can warp to from the surface all the way to, from Skyloft. But that is going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. I really appreciate it. And subscribe if you're not. That way you get notified when the next video goes up. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.